hello and welcome to this Microsoft Excel video tutorial this is gonna be my first video for the year 2023 so let me start by saying thank you so much for watching my videos in the past years thank you for the comments for the likes for sharing and for subscribing to the channel I promise you this is gonna be an awesome year of new content in Excel so I will employ you to stick around so without wasting our time in this video I'm gonna show us how to calculate some total across 14 worksheets at once and we're gonna use the go to special and the group sheet technique so let's get started now this is our sample data set we've got this cornerstone bookstore operating in 14 cities in the United Kingdom the first city is London, Manchester, Liverpool, Birmingham, Kent, Sheffield, Coventry, Leicester, Bristol, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Luton, Plymouth and Southampton now these are the books we are selling books written by Barbara Payne, Doris Leeson and William Goldings now these are all the units sold for each of the quarter quarter one, quarter two quarter three to quarter four now our goal is simple we want to go through all these 14 sheets at once and then calculate the total at the row level and at the column level at once now if you want to do this manually you probably do something like this you select all these empty cells and you press the keyboard shortcut for the auto sum which is alt equal sign and that's going to give you the total at the rows levels now you select all this block for the column level calculation alt equal sign that's going to give you the total for each of the quarter and this at the column level now the total number of books sold is 28,792 that is for Barbara Payne's book only now imagine having to do the same thing for Doris Leasing, William Golding and then you switch to Manchester you do the same thing here you do the same thing here and you know it's going to take you a long time so there's a good technique on how to do this at once so i'm going to come back here and press ctrl z z and of course this is the original state of the data set now the first thing i'm going to do is to group all the sheets together so i'm going to hold down the shift key and click on the southampton sheet you can see all the 14 worksheets are now grouped together this simply means that whatever changes I made in the London worksheet, it's going to impact all the sheets that are in that selection. Now, having done that, let me just scroll up. Now, I'm going to select all this block where I want the total at the row levels and at the column level to be delivered. So, I'm going to swipe up. Now, having done, I'm going to go to the home, home tab and click on the in editing group, click on find and select, and click on go to special and this is really an, a special operation so i click on go to special now in the go to special i'm going to select the blank cells and then i'm going to click ok now you can see all the blank cells are now selected now the moment of truth is here so i'm going to press alt equal sign and that will deliver the total at the row levels and at the column level you can see this is the total at the column level Okay, press escape and this is the total at the row levels now this for the state of London now when I right click and choose on group sheet you can see we have the total for the city of Liverpool the total number of books sold for Barbara Pims is 16,498 the total number of books sold for Doris Leeson is 7,872. You can swipe to Birmingham, you can see the total number of books sold for Doris Leeson is 41,891. Let's see for William Goldings, 19,542. You can check and let's check for Luton. You can see total sold for Barbara Pames is 18,049. For Doris Leeson, 7,167. Let's check for the city of Bristol. You can see everything is accurate so basically this is how we can save time how we can be more productive if we have this kind of things to do on our job i hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like comment share and consider subscribing to this channel thank you and bye for now cheers